also for this problem, so a man thrown a stone upward with a velocity of 31 meters per second, then how high does the stone go? How long the stone in the air? So if this is the man that thrown a stone upward, so the velocity is 31 meters per second. So take note at the maximum height, the final velocity is equal to zero. So to find the displacement of the stone using this formula, the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the gravity times the displacement, and this is the unknown. So given the final velocity and the initial velocity, so to find out the displacement of the stone, so we have the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the gravity times the displacement. So again, at the maximum height, the final velocity is equal to 0. Then equals the initial velocity is 31 meters per second then to the power 2 plus 2 times the gravity, this one is constant, negative 9.8 times the displacement. Then for this 31 squared, transpose to the other side. So we have 31 to the power 2, that's 961, then transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 961 then equals this 2 times negative 9.8 so we have 2 times negative 9.8 so that's negative 19.6 so negative 19.6 times the displacement then to find out the displacement of the stone so divide both sides by negative 19 0.6 so the displacement equals so this 961 divided by 19.6 so that's 49.03 so the displacement of the stone is equal to 49.03 meters so for b how long the stone in the air? So we're looking for the time. So to find the time, so the time up plus the time down. So that's the total flight time. So we can solve the time up using this formula that the final velocity equals the initial velocity plus the gravity times the time to solve for the time up because in the time up the final velocity is equal to zero so this becomes zero equals the initial velocity is 31 meters per second plus the gravity this is negative 9.8 times the time then transpose this 31 to the other side so this becomes negative 31 equals negative 9.8 times the time then divide both sides by negative 9.8 cancel so this is the time up equals so negative 31 divided by negative 9.8 so the time is 3.16 so the time up is 3.16 then to find the total time, so for the total time or the flight time, this is equal to 3.16 times 2 equals, so the time of flight is 3.16 times 2, so that's 6.32. So the total time or the time of flight is 6.32 seconds.